Welcome back. In this example, we'll uh, graph these two inequalities from scratch. So let's start with y is greater than or equal to 3x, and then we're actually going to steal most of the work we do there to graph the, the one on the right side, which is y is greater than 3x. The first thing you want to do with graphing any inequality in two variables is rewrite it as an equality, meaning y equals 3x. Now you should, at this stage of the course, be able to graph any equation in two variables. So this is just a straight line. We should be able to use many, many different ways of graphing this. We should be able to use either intercepts or plugging in points or using the uh, slope intercept model and basically graph it from there. So I'll first do it by plugging in points. So if x and y, if x is say one, y will be 3 times 1, which is 3. If x is 2, y will be 3 times 2, which is 6. So what I could do is plot these two points on an xy plane. 2, 6. I'm going to need a lot more space up top. So I have 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So 1, 3 is up here. 2 comma 6 is up here. And now I have to look at, or we have to look at the inequality itself. So what I'm looking for is here. Is that just a greater than sign or is it a greater than or equal to sign? If, it, if there's an equal sign fused in, we have to make a solid line that connects these two dots. Had it just been greater than or less than, then we would make a dashed or a dotted line. So because it's greater than or equal to 3x, that means that when I join these two dots, not a very good straight line. I don't know if that one's much better, but let's try it. All right, maybe that's a little bit better. Now, remember that if it were just y equals 3x, we're done. All the, the solutions to that equation are the line itself. But because we're graphing an inequality, y is greater than or equal to 3x, we have to graph the region that contains all the solutions. So it'll either be up and to the left of this line or down and to the right of this line. And the way we determine that is by just picking a test point. Pick any point that is not on the line itself. So let's say I pick this point, 2 comma 1. I know that this point is clearly not on the line, so I can use that and plug it into the original inequality, y is greater than or equal to 3x. And if we do that, 1 is greater than 3 times 2. I'm plugging in 2 for x and 1 for y, uh, greater than or equal to. 1 is greater than or equal to 3 times 2, which is 6. Now is that a true statement or is that a false statement? 1 is greater than or equal to 6. Hopefully everyone agrees that that's obviously false. There's no truth to the matter there. Now, just like we did in the previous video, do you run towards or do you uh, befriend people that tell you the truth or do you run away from people that tell you lies? Well, that's not really or, but and. So you run towards people that tell you the truth and you run away from people that lie to you. Is the point 2 comma 1 telling us the truth with regards to this inequality? Is it satisfying it or is it telling us some nonsense that we should be running away from? The nice thing about this testing aspect is you only have to test one point. If that had been a true statement, you would shade on the side of the point. If it's a false statement, then you run away from it. So then you just shade the other side. Oops. So then this side, or this region, actually has all the solutions. So let's look at this on a graph on Desmos. That's a little bit nicer. So here, I'm going to turn on the first graph. And you'll notice the two points we had were 1, 3. So that's right here. Uh, oh, no. 1, 3 would be up here. 1, 3 is right there. And then 2 comma 6, we can see, is that point right there. So it'll be higher, right there, 2 comma 6. And you'll notice that we have a straight, solid line that goes through those two points. And we shade it up and to the left. So coming back here again, 
There's not really a very nice way to do it on an iPad as I'm drawing this here, but this indicates that this entire region is where all the solutions will be up and to the left of the line. And the solutions go on forever. It's not like they just stop at the edge of the graph. All of this region, if you pick any point here, say negative 10 comma six, it would satisfy that inequality. In fact, let's do it. Negative 10 comma six would be six is greater than or equal to three times negative 10. Six is greater than or equal to negative 30. And that's obviously true. If you have $6, you have more than someone who owes someone $30. So hopefully that helps with this example. For graphing y is greater than 3x, we're actually not going to do anything differently. We start off by doing the exact same thing, writing down y equals 3x. You would still come up with a table of values. You need two points to draw a straight line. And it would still be 1, 3 and 2, 6, because it's still y equals 3x. That hasn't changed. Then we would do the same thing. We would draw an xy plane. And then I would have two points, one comma three is here, two comma six is up here. The only difference here is going to be the way that I draw the line itself. So notice that here I had a greater than or equal to, but for this example, I just have a greater than. That means that the line that I draw when I connect these two dots has to be dashed or dotted. What that means is that the points that are on the line itself, so one comma three and two comma six, will not satisfy this inequality. They will not be solutions. Let's plug it in. Three is greater than three times one. So we get three is greater than three, and that's not true. So that's why we say that the dotted line or the dashed line really means it's a porous border, uh, or it's a porous or open uh, line, or a dotted line, or a dashed line. To say the points that are on the line are not part of the solution region. Whereas if we had done the same thing for the left-hand equation or inequality, three is greater than or equal to three times one, three is greater than or equal to three, that's actually a true statement because notice we're saying greater than or equal to. So if it's just strict inequality, greater than or less than, we do not include the line in the solution. If it is greater than or equal to or less than or equal to, we do include the line by making it solid, not dashed. And then how do we know which side to shade? You plug in a test point. If the test point results in a true statement, you shade the side that the test point is on. And if it results in a false statement, then you shade the opposite side that the test point is on. So in this case, for y is greater than 3x, let's pick a point here, say negative 1 comma 2. 2 is greater than 3 times negative 1. 2 is greater than negative 3. And that's a true statement. So now this point did not lie to us. This, this point told us the truth. So we should shade on the side that the point is telling us the truth. Again, hopefully this makes sense because both of these inequalities are basically the same. The only difference is how you draw the border, how you draw the line itself. So if we go back to Desmos, Let's center this graph again. Now I'm going to turn on, turn off this one and then turn on the other one. And you'll notice it's the same exact thing, but pay attention to how the line is drawn. Here it's dashed or dotted. And if I turn this back on again, it'll be the same region, same line, but now the line itself is drawn solid. Hopefully this helps. We'll see you in the next example.